Hey, it's Matt with McGee Farms, and it's been uh, about 10 months since I started doing some videos on uh, making black walnut syrup. And uh, I got the first two steps down. I got it collected, I got it boiled, or the initial boiling done. I didn't get to the final boil, and you know, as a lot of you know, I've said before, uh, I do serve in the Navy, and uh, ended up getting called out, so I uh, was not able to get my final boil done, and when I got back, it was springtime, and uh, there was so much other stuff to do. So what I ended up doing is I've got these one-gallon containers. We use these for honey, and uh, I got them good washed, sterilized. I had uh, a few of those that I just filled up. I stuck them in our backup refrigerator we have in the garage. And like I said, it's been about 10 months and it stayed good. Uh, got it out. I've been kind of boiling down on it just a little bit more, but uh, it's ready for the final boil right now. And uh, so I'm going to make that video. Got a pan out that I'm going to switch to for the final boil. That's the thing, guys. This is where you're going to basically piss off your wife if you're doing this and she's not on board because uh, uh, usually I like going to a smaller, smaller pot. Makes it a little easier to control temperature wise, but it does make a mess in that pot. Just, this one is one, I don't drink soda, but uh, being a Southern boy, I love my iced tea. So this is what I make my iced tea in. And uh, you know, it'll, if a little's left in there, it'll add some flavor to my next batch of iced tea. But I'm getting ready first. I uh, ended up buying some more taps. Uh, and when we tap them, we basically would take a five gallon bucket. I've got a five gallon bucket lid. I drilled a couple of holes in. I have been getting surgical tubing and making uh, my own taps. But as you see this box right here, I ended up, and I'm gonna put a link to this uh, on the notes, but uh, I got some that was already uh, ready to go. Plenty of taps, plenty of line, even came with a drill bit. Although the drills I use, uh, like I've got my impact driver already uh, lined up, so I use a different kind of uh, kind of bit so it'll fit in there. But uh, you know, this is pretty cheap and uh, seems like it's made all right. So we're going to head out. I'm going to collect what I've been uh, getting the last few days because we've had a uh, abnormally warm December. And so for the last week or so, I've been uh, I've been getting sap and I've got a couple of buckets out there. We're going to go add this one. And then while uh, I grab that, I'm going to start the initial boil on that while I make my final boil and uh, add another bucket out there and uh, Try to finish this up, and then in the in the next week, I'm probably going to make some hickory syrup as well, and I'll be doing a video on that. So uh, let's turn the camera off and head on down. All right, I'm back. I got some sap that I'm going to start an initial boil on, but first I'm going to get uh, started on the final boil. With this, you want to have a thermometer and. Uh, Basically want about 219, 220 degrees, uh, you know, to, uh, is where the, uh, the final boil you want to get it up to. And uh, so I'm going to start pouring it in here. I'm going to put the thermometer in and we're going to turn it on. And then we're going to start with uh, uh, the initial boil of the new sap. All right, we got it poured in, we got it all set up. I'm letting it uh, heat up right now. Once it starts getting close, I've got it on a, the heat on high. Once it starts getting uh, kind of close, I'm gonna back it down a little bit because I don't wanna burn it. Uh, you get it too hot and it'll kind of burn a little bit and it'll end up uh, kind of getting a little bit of a burnt taste. It's still good, but uh, also, Got some new sap that I just collected, about a half gallon. It's, uh, like I said, December, and it's an unusually warm right now. So being unusually warm, uh, uh, we're getting a little bit of sap flowing. So this will kind of give me a start on, uh, 
on the season that really doesn't hit till late January here in Missouri. So we're going to watch it, let it heat up, and uh, once it kind of does, I'm going to I've got a uh, spatula here, and I'm kind of going to kind of be stirring it to keep it from burning. Once we get to about that uh, about a 215s, where I'll kind of start uh, stirring it pretty good. Okay, you see we are uh, getting close. We got a good boil going here. We're a little over 200. Like I said, we want to get to that 220. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. One, I don't want it to boil over, but also I don't want to burn it. And uh, we'll see by just turning the stove down a little bit if that's going to keep going up or if that's going to drop my temperature and i got to go higher. As we're working on it, I ended up uh, changing burners just because I could not get it to uh, the proper temperature without it boiling over and probably might end up having to take a little of this out of there but uh, once it hits about 210 it does start boiling really good and i might just have too much in there but in the meantime i ran down into the uh, cellar grabbed a couple of jars got them all uh, washed up good these uh you know we'll save everything from you know spaghetti jars and you know other glass jars uh, these were uh I don't even know what these were from. I think we either had honey or uh, moonshine, one of the two in them. But uh, whatever it was, uh, you know, we used it up and they were just sitting there. So got them washed and sterilized and now we're going to use them for syrup. So hopefully with this burner, it'll be a little easier to control. And uh, hopefully we'll have uh, syrup here in a few minutes. Going through this, I've kind of switched burners and uh, pots a couple of times, but I think I finally got a good solution. And so far, a little bit made. Working on some more. It's bubbling up pretty good. And uh, tastes pretty good, what I've gotten in there so far. So hopefully, uh, once it's done, it'll all taste uh, about like it's tasting so far. All right, so we got it all done, and uh, just on that little bit, I think it started out a little over five gallons. Uh, by the time I'm done, I've got a, uh, a quart and about, I guess that wouldn't even be a pint, but uh, that's about what I got out of it. It's good and dark, it tastes really good. Now it's uh, cleanup time, and uh, I've got to clean up this pot, so basically just going to wash everything in the pot and figure I got the soapy water just do it the easy way but that's how I make uh, the black walnut syrup here we're going to be doing as I said some uh, uh, hickory syrup here uh, probably this week and I'll shoot a video of that that's super easy to make you don't even tap it you make it from the bark but hopefully this helps if uh you have any questions i'm far from an expert this is about the third time that i've made this but i tell you it is delicious if you've never had it it's better than make maple syrup uh, sometimes uh, i'll kind of mix it 50 50 with uh, honey in it one thing too is uh you know it's not thick like corn syrup sometimes you can get it thick but uh for the most part you know, it's a little on the runny side, but that's uh, that's all right. It still tastes good. It still goes on your waffles and pancakes, you know, just as well. So, hope you enjoy the videos. It's Matt from McGee Farms. If you uh, like the videos, they inspire you, help you out, please consider giving us a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel, or sharing it with your friends, leaving us a comment. All of that uh, is appreciated, and it helps the channel grow. Till next time, have a great day.